Hi and welcome to Piano Tutorial Developed Using Pascal in Lazarus IDE. So let me show you guys how this works. but uh, I think I tried but what I want to do is actually show you guys how to put something like this together very simple lines of codes so let's do that now guys okay welcome back and let's start a new project let's go straight to file and let's select new and right there I'm going to select application make sure application is selected click on okay okay guys let's put together a new tutorial so I'm going to open up a form let's see I think it's right here form there and then I'm just going to define the size of the form that much just bring it down a little bit yeah that, I think that would do okay let's go right up here and grab a button there's a button let's paste the button there let's drag it down so we need about 11 of those buttons so I'm going to copy it and paste just copy and paste but first thing first let's do one thing you see the, the content here let's change our name let's come right down here we need a font I'm going to make the font about 18 bold there and let's change the text content on it to C there we go there and this very one also need we need to change the name let's look for the name the official name is right here somewhere that should be named there we go let's change the official name to btnc there we go now i'm going to copy it you can right click copy and just paste there we need 11 copy paste we have four right and right there guys I have 11 in total so I also need some of the other keys that will make up the other keys up there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy just this one again Ctrl C and just paste it there and reduce the size. There we go. And just reduce it. Something, yeah, something like that. Okay, that's fine. So, and this one we also need to change the font. I'm going to change the font of that very one to the only keynote that I know called C Sharp. I'm going to copy that. Copy and paste. And paste that in there. So move that aside. I uh, might as well grab two more. Let's copy. Paste. Move that here. Right. Then we're going to need about two more. There's two here, and we need just one here. Let me copy this control C and control V. Paste it there. Right now, I'm going to change the background color so of my form. So, select the form, make sure it's selected, scroll right down. And if you want, you can always change the caption of that form to piano. There. And as it is changed, uh, I'm going to go straight down to color. Change the default color to black. There we go. So that looks a bit pronounced. So what I'm going to do now is just change the details on these very buttons. So let's select the button individually. So that's going to be D. 
and the next one is going to be f g i have an a b c1 d1 e1 and finally f1 and here is going to be d sharp 1 c sharp 1 this is double b and here we have and that is g g sharp and we have f sharp d sharp there now all of the button now has name okay before i start coding i have to save this let's go to file and save as and now i'm going to create a folder in here let's just a new folder right in there and let's call that piano i'm going to call the pascal piano piano that's a folder there okay inside my pascal piano folder double click and my project is going to be p piano there we go save there and i also just save the unit let's just save it as unit one that is fine okay okay the other thing that i'm going to do is to get hold of the music notes that i need there they are i'm going to copy those and i'll paste them right inside my folder right in here double click and right here i'm going to create another folder I'll just call it music there and double click on music and paste the copied notes right in there there they are that is fine so now let's double click on this very c note here double click on that but there's something i we need to do let's go up here you see right here where we have uses class and so on here at the end let's enter a comma and we just need to mm system that's fine okay now let's go back to the music note double click on that there and that is the very first one and right in there we're going to enter the following so i'm going to just say play sound and the sound is going to be right inside the following there but I do need to get the name of that very folder. Let's go back in there. I need the folder. That's the folder right there. Okay. I'm going to hold on to shifts, right click, and let's copy the part there. I've copied the part of the music itself. I'm going to paste it all in there, but I don't need it all. So I'm going to get rid of all of this up to here. There all i then need is just the sound itself which is c c dot wave yeah wave okay now come out here and we just need to enter a comma zero comma sound underscore okay guys um let's copy this and we'll try it out make sure it's saved though so click on run let's see and there we go now let's try it out you hear that guys that is good that's working so let's do the same thing for the other buttons so stop it from running and let's open up our form now double click on d there we go that's d there and just enter a very 
lines of gold in there and change the C to D if you guys look at my music notes there they are that is C I have D and so on the other ones are just the steel drum I'm not going to be using that for this tutorial alright so let's double click on E and that is E paste that in there change the music note to E so that makes life easy the way it has been the way I've named every single music note F paste that becomes F G that is G right there a paste that's A maybe move this like this we have B now double click on B paste that's B note C1 paste C1 I believe that's called C1 anyway D1 we have D1 here going to be D D underscore lowercase one I remember that copy that and this is C change that to C now we have double B double B here Then we have G. That to be G. Then G here. That's how it's named. Then we have F. Is that get rid of this? And that's F. Copy that. We have D. And this becomes D. to see there we go okay guys so let's run the system now so click on run there decision time let's see that is how that is how you create your own piano in Pascal using Lazarus. So let's try out a good music note. There. So with that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it. You all have a nice day and bye for now.